Environment Minister Robin Parker is being grilled tonight at the inquiry into Orica's August chemical leak, particularly over her handling of the incident. Lee Jelasek joins us live from State Parliament. Lee, how's she holding up? Chris, she's about halfway through three hours of questioning from the parliamentary inquiry and she didn't get off to a good start. The embattled Environment Minister began with a prepared statement, which she had to correct just minutes later. A harsh environment for a minister increasingly becoming a threatened species. It began badly. Well, why did you just tell us in your opening statement that you were informed some 30 hours after it occurred? Well, 30 hours after the Office of Environment and Heritage were notified. That's not what you said, Minister. Robin Parker stuck to her script, nervous but determined. She's making no attempt to answer it. She no is. attempt. Ms Parker blames Orica for taking 16 hours to reveal a cancer-causing gas had been leaked near Newcastle last August, but it was another 54 hours before she went public. Ms Parker failed to remember how many times she'd visited the worried locals. How many times have you visited Stockton all... since the 8th of August incident? This is... I've, I've already said to you, I don't count how many times I go to the electorate... Well, it's once, isn't it? Labor believes Ms Parker remained quiet about the leak for about 24 hours to avoid scrutiny in Parliament. She wasn't the only one feeling the heat. I make it clear that it was absolutely unacceptable. While Finance and Services Minister Greg Pearce used his appearance to eat some breakfast, sipping coffee in between bites of cake and questions on how badly the Orica workers were exposed to the chemical. You assume that work cover knows it's a carcinogen? No, I don't assume anything. A piece of cake for him, but not the people of Newcastle. Lee Jellisek, 7 News.